In my last Godot video, someone asked, can you make a video or explain how to add physics to the tile map so characters stays in it? So let's go ahead and do that. Also, just a quick shout out. Thank you to all my patrons who support my channel. I cannot do this without you, and I will be uploading more Godot content for all my Patreons. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my project, I have this simple JRPG character, which is another Godot tutorial that I've done before. Feel free to check that out. And pretty much my character can just walk anywhere he wants. He can go into the water. He can go over this castle. So let's go ahead and fix that. So in order to fix this, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. And in my scene, I'm going to go ahead and click on the tile map layer I actually want to adjust. So by default, my player is on a collision of layer one and mask one. And I want to put my tile map on the same. After clicking on tile set, you'll see these list of physics layers, terrain sets, navigation layers, and so on. I'm going to drop down physics layers and click add element. And now that will enable a collision layer and a collision mask. So let's briefly go over what a collision layer is. So the collision layer of an object determines which group the object belongs to. So this is kind of like declaring where the object is placed in terms of collision layers. And each object can be assigned to multiple collision layers. The collision mask determines which layers the object will collide with. So if an object has a certain layer in its collision mask, it will check for collisions with that object that's on that layer. So now with the tile map layer, I just want to add some physics layer on the left here so my player can to walk off. So I'm simply just going to go over to tile set by clicking on the bottom over here. I'll click on select over here and now I'll go ahead and select a tile. So I'll select this one, for example. And now on the left, you'll see this tab called physics. I can expand that and you'll notice that there is a physics layer zero that I can expand as well. So all I need to do is click on these three dots. Let's say I want this entire block to have physics. I can click reset to default shape and you'll notice that now when I hit play, so now my character just can't walk at all and go past it. Even though my character is trying, it's not letting it, but it looks a little weird because I still have this open space. So how do we adjust that? So I'm going to click on tile map, go back to my tile set. And now all I need to do is just, I can just simply drag this to the edge like so. And then I can go ahead and click on the next tile. There are quite a few tools. So there is one that says delete points. There is one to edit the points and there's one to add polygon tool. So I'll go ahead and click on this top left one and I'll click this add polygon. I can go ahead and click on the corners like so. And now because this will close off our shape, when I click back up here, it'll close this off and you'll see that now our tile has this triangle. So our character can walk on the bottom right of it, but not on the top left. I'll go ahead and actually click on this delete points and click on them to remove them. And I'll go ahead and add the polygon again. And let's say I want something a little bit more complex so that we only get the edges. So I can go ahead and just click around like so, and maybe like that. And then I'll click back where the shape began. So I'll do one in this corner, up here, down here, in the middle, over here, to the left, and back at the beginning. So now I kind of have this, um, this squarish shape to cover the edges of my grass tile. So I can go ahead and click on this middle point if I wanted to adjust the size or the shape like so, and I can click on the green to add more points and continue on with this. So I'll go ahead and delete this and only edit this section. And I can go ahead and do the same for all of these. So let's say I want the entire tile to be blocked. I can go ahead and click on this three dot and click reset to default tile shape, which is not what we need. So in this case, I'm just gonna drag this up, make sure my character can't walk over on this end. And what if I told you there was an easier way? And you're probably thinking blocking off the water might do the trick, but the truth is I have water everywhere. Then I couldn't even walk over the bridge because this water would be in the way. And if I want to go down the stairs, the water would be in the way as well. And I have water underneath this grass. So actually my player would just be stuck. So an easy workaround that I like to do is simply just import an image that won't be visible to the game. So let me show you an example. So I just looked up red X PNG. I'm going to go ahead and download the 16 by 16 PNG of this red X. And I'm just going to drag it in so you'll see it on the bottom over here. And now I'm going to simply just create another tile map layer. And I'll leave this at the very top. And I'm going to go over to tile set, create a new tile set, click on tile set, drop down physics layer to add an element. Make sure it's on one and one because that's what my character set on. And then I'll hit, I'll click on tile set again, drag in the X mark 16 PNG. Uh, let me just scroll up to make sure texture region is 16 by 16. This is one perfect. And then I'll click select. And then I'll go ahead and select this and you'll see this physics, physics layer zero. If you do not see the physics tab, that's because you did not create a physics element in your tile set. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots and I'll click reset to default shape. And now I'm going to go to the tile map, click on this X 
And I'm simply just going to drag around where my character should be or not be able to fall. So instead of the pencil tool, I'm just going to use the line tool. So this will be way easier. And I'm just going to put it on the borders of this island. And I'm just going to wrap this island up for now. Just because my character should be able to go through the bridge and not be able to fall off. And then he should also be able to go around the bridge like so. And I'll just leave it like this for now. Now this would be a good alternative if you were to not use any boats. But another thing you could do is set your or turn off collision layers on your player whenever you, let's say, enter a boat. So let's go ahead and click play. And we'll actually be able to see this on the map right now, but we won't be able to cross them, which is exactly what we're looking for. And a pretty easy way to just play with the visibility of this is simply going to that tile map layer, clicking tile set, going to the select tab, selecting the tile, and then you can either set the Z index to something like negative one so it's all hidden, or you can set modulate alpha to zero. There are many ways you can handle this. So I'll just set the Z index to one. And now when I click play, uh, you'll see that it still takes effect. So basically all the red X's that I had before um, are still taking effect. For example, I can't walk down into the water. I can go on the bridge. I can't walk off the bridge like so. And yeah, looks pretty good to me. And yeah, that's just an easy way to do it a different way. There are many ways you can go about doing this. So for example, for these red X's, I probably should have put them up here just so just because our character should not be able to walk on this cliffside. But yeah, that's a pretty simple way on collisions and physics layers on tile map layers. Thanks for watching Code of Throw, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.